The light rail, also known as the Light Rail Transit (LRT), is a light rail system in Hong Kong, serving the northwestern New Territories within Tuen Mun District and Yuen Long District. The system operates over 1,435 mm 4 feet 8 and a half in standard gauge gauge track, using 750 volts DC overhead power supply. It was once one of four systems comprising the KCR network in Hong Kong. It has a daily ridership of about 483,000 people. History Topic. Planning and commencement When Tuan Mun was developed in the 1970s, the Hong Kong government set aside space for the laying of rail tracks. There was uncertainty however as to which company would be chosen to build the railway. In 1982 Hong Kong Tramways showed interest in building the system and running double-decker trams on it, before abandoning the project after negotiations over land premiums for related property development failed. The government sought another builder. The Mass Transit Railway Corporation MTRC was heavily indebted at the time, and so Secretary for Transport Alan Scott invited the Kowloon Canton Railway Corporation KCRC to consider the project instead. The KCRC announced they would build the system in 1984 to a budget of $1.5 billion, after investigating ways to improve commercial viability. After some research, construction commenced on 14 July 1985. By that time, Kowloon Motor Bus KMB had developed its own network in Tuan Mun and Yuen Long, and there were about 10 routes serving within the district internally, most of them profitable. However, the government introduced the concept of the light rail service area in both districts, forcing the KMB to withdraw all internal bus services in favor of the light rail. It also forced the KMB to impose boarding and alighting restrictions for external routes. It was decided that services between town centers and settlements would be provided solely by the light rail, while feeder buses operated by the KCRC would connect remote sites to the network, replacing KMB's equivalent services where applicable. The system was completed and fully operational in September 1988. The first section was opened to the public on 14 September 1988, with free rides between Tuan Mun and Yuen Long. Normal, all day service began four days later, on 18 September. The system consisted of two large and three small loops serving most of the public housing estates in northern Tuan Mun. Three branches, one to On Ting Estate in the southeast, one to the Tuan Mun Ferry Pier in the southwest, and another northern branch all the way into the town of Yuen Long along Castle Peak Road. It was then known as Light Rail Transit or LRT and is also called as the Northwest Railway according to the Kowloon Canton Railway Corporation Ordinance and Mass Transit Railway Northwest Railway Bylaw. The system is divided into six fare zones, the only transit system in Hong Kong to employ such zoning. The feeder buses have fares independent of these zones, but provide discounts when passengers interchange between these buses and LRT. Seventy single-deck LRVs were manufactured in Melbourne and Queensland, following by Brisbane, Australia by Comeng, to ship to Hong Kong for the seven LRT routes in the system. Three of the routes were to Yuen Long and the others were confined to Tuan Mun. Extensions <inaudible> 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 The system's first extension came for the southern and eastern parts of Tuan Mun. The eastern extension branches off the main line south of Shu Hong Stop and crosses the river that runs through Tuan Mun immediately with a flyover. The line then runs along Castle Peak Road to a road north of the town center, where it climbs to another flyover and rejoins the main route. The northern end of this extension is still the only non-triangular junction in the entire system. The southern extension mainly consists of a route linking on Ting and Ferry Pier, on the newly reclaimed land near the river mouth of Tuan Mun River, known as Mouse Island, by locals. A short spur was also built from the extension to another terminus at Sam Shing Estate, located near Castle Peak Bay. Three LRT routes were diverted Route 505 was extended to Sam Shing, and one feeder bus route Route 559 discontinued as a result of these changes. Tin Shui Wai was originally an area with numerous fish ponds, but was developed as a residential town in 1991 to 1994. 
With the increase of internal commuter traffic demand, an LRT spur was built north of Hung Shui Kiu stop that opened in 1993, with four stops serving the initial housing areas of the town. The area was further developed in the next few years and the line was extended by two stops, Chestwood and Tin Shui Wai Terminus in 1995 Tin Shui Wai Terminus was renamed Tin Wing after the opening of West Rail Line. Two LRT routes were established, Route 720 now 751 to Yao Oi and Route 721 now 761P to Yuen Long. <laughs> West Rail Line The system remained essentially unchanged until the completion of the West Rail Line in December 2003. Many changes were made, mainly around the new railway stations. The KCRC designed most railway stations in the LRT area to interchange with the new West Rail Line. The idea was to encourage passengers to use the West Rail Line instead of the light rail for longer journeys to free up LRT vehicles for passengers making shorter journeys. For this purpose, an interchange discount system was launched with the introduction of the West Rail Line system, meaning that passengers would pay no more and in some cases less to travel on West Rail Line instead of the LRT for the main part of their journey. Although this most recent extension is the largest ever, no new vehicles were purchased. And although rearrangements were made, some infrequent and unreliable services resulted, causing passengers to blame the lack of vehicles and poor arrangement of new services. The KCRC has since modified the inside of some vehicles to allow more standing room for passengers during peak hours. They have also several route alterations to arrange them better. Topic. Rolling stock The system's vehicles consist of four different types of LRVs. All LRVs are 20.2 meters long and have three sliding doors fitted on the left side when facing the running direction from inside. This means that island platforms except the triangular platform at Shuhong Stop cannot be used at all in the LRT system. Phase 1 LRVs were built by Komeng and put in service in 1988. They are numbered 1001 to 1070 and accommodate 43 sitting passengers and 161 standees. The driver's cab interior and exterior design was conceived for KCRC by Design Triangle in 1986. Phase 2 LRVs were built by Kawasaki and entered service in 1992. They are numbered 1071 to 1090 minus 1210 and accommodate 26 sitting and 185 standees. Cars 1071 to 1090 are cab cars while 1201 to 1210 are cabless trailers. Phase 3 LRVs were built by Agononen, now UGL Rail and entered service in 1997. They are numbered 1091 to 1110 and accommodate 26 seating and 212 standees. Phase 1 LRVs have two wheelchair positions while both Phase 2 and Phase 3 LRVs have three positions. The newest Phase 4 LRVs were manufactured by United Group Limited. And CSR and entered service in December 2009. They are numbered 1111 to 1132. Traction systems for both Phase 1 and 2 LRVs consist of GTO Thyrista chopper and DC traction motors, supplied by AEG, while drives for the Phase 3 and 4 LRVs consist of IGBT VVVF inverters and AC traction motors provided by Mitsubishi. The maximum speed for all LRVs is 80 km per hour, although they rarely reach that speed because of the many grade crossings between stops and the close proximity between stops in Tuanmun, Yuanlong and Tin Shui Wai. From the outside it is difficult to differentiate between the first three types of LRVs. There are, however, distinct features that one can use to tell them apart. Phase 3 LRVs still retain their original green electronic displays while all other LRVs have new orange electronic displays. Phase 1 cars also have a wide window at the rear that can be opened in case of an emergency, while Phase 2 cars have a door at the back. The interior of the Phase 3 cars has a greenish look and the doors are also green. The Phase 4 LRVs have a completely different appearance in contrast to the older Phase. It has a wide exterior livery with olive green and purple line on the side. The shape of the front of the LRV is more streamlined than the older Phases. The door opening and closing mechanism was similar to the ones from the K-Class cars used in the Sung Quano line and Tung Chung line. The Phase 4 has three surveillance cameras in each vehicle. Seat belts and wheelchair positions were also available in the Phase 4. 
On older generation LRVs there is a poached seat but the Phase 4s do not maintain this feature. The Phase 4 LRV has orange electronic display. The refurbished Phase 1 LRVs have rounded rectangular windows while Phase 4 LRVs have square ones. The Phase 2 cars will not be refurbished instead MTR has ordered 40 Phase 5 cars. 30 cars are to replace existing Phase 2 and trailer cars, 10 will be for expansion. Phase 5 cars are manufactured by CRRC Nanjing Pujen. The first car was delivered in late 2018 and will enter service in 2019. The Phase 3 cars are expected to be rebuilt and repainted with a scheme similar to the Phase 4 cars. Topic: <laughs> Stops and routes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Stops. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Notes. Topic. Current service pattern There are currently 12 routes serving the light rail system. Before 23 August 2010, 761P operated special services between Yuen Long and Tin Wing via Wetland Park at 30-minute intervals from 10 o'clock to 1500 daily. After the opening of West Rail Line, the demand for light rail services between Shu Hong and Yuen Long decreased. Therefore, half of 614 and 615 services were changed to short-distance services operating between Shu Hong and Ferry Pier, numbered 614P and 615P respectively. Line 751P is the short-distance service of 751 in Tin Shui Wai, only in service during morning and afternoon peak time and suspends service during public holidays and school holidays. Topic. Fares The light rail is the only public transport system in Hong Kong to have fare zones and the only one with an honor system, in which there are no ticket gates. These fare zones apply only to passengers purchasing single-ride tickets from ticketing machines at LRT stops. Since the introduction of Octopus cards, however, passengers have a choice of ticketing options. All fares indicated below are for adults, while children and the elderly usually pay the concessionary fare, which is half the adult fare. Topic: <laughs> Single ride tickets. There are 6 fare zones: 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 5A for passengers purchasing single ride tickets in light rail stops. A trip between two zones costs $4.50, $5.50 for three zones and journeys further than three zones cost $6.50. Zone 5A was introduced solely for the latest extension in Tin Shui Wai, and both zones 5 and 5A are only connected to zone 4. Therefore, traveling between zones 5 and 5A is considered as traveling through three zones. Octopus cards Octopus card fares are calculated based on the minimum number of stops traveled from origin to destination stops, rather than the number of fare zones traveled through. All stops have octopus entry and exit processes at the entrances to and exits from platforms. Passengers may enter the system after scanning their octopus card at an orange entry processor reader. At this point, the maximum fare is deducted from the card. On completion of a journey, the card previously read by an entry processor must be scanned at a dark green exit processor, where the maximum fare less the fare incurred is refunded. Failure to do so within the time limit would cause the fare difference to be forfeited. If a person exits the same platform with the same card within five minutes, the fare deducted will be fully refunded. Light blue inquiry processors can also be found on most platforms. Like inquiry processes found in other places, passengers can check the balance on their card, along with the 10 most recent octopus transactions. If a personalized octopus card is used, the number of light rail credits accumulated is also shown. Passengers using personalized octopus cards are able to participate in the light rail bonus scheme. A card on which fares totaling $30 adults or $15 children, seniors or more are paid over six consecutive days gets an automatic credit of $3 adults or $1.50 children, seniors. 
Passengers using Octopus cards that are registered with the MTR Club are automatically enrolled into the MTR Club bonus scheme. Members can earn bonus points by riding on the MTR, Airport Express, Light Rail and MTR bus with their registered Octopus card during the promotion period. Members can then redeem these points for exclusive rewards. Passengers can visit the MTR website for the information of the gift during that particular promotion period. Incidents <inaudible> 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 In July 1994 a light rail vehicle and a lorry collided, killing the LRV captain. On the 11th of September 1994, a coach carrying factory workers ran a red light and was crushed between two light rail trains at a junction near Futei. The coach driver and a coach passenger were killed. The two LRV captains were cleared of wrongdoing. The railway inspectorate also said the design of the junction was not to blame. The government said it would implement video recording at LRT junctions, improve road signage between Tuen Mun and Yuen Long, and better educate drivers. On 13 January 1995 a light rail train derailed as a result of intentional vandalism to the points at Tin King and Ming Kum roads. The KCRC had not received any threats or warning beforehand. On 9 February 2010 a construction crane fell on an LRT train as it approached Liang King stop, 18 were injured. On 17 May 2013, a CSR Phase 4 light rail train, cars 1112 and 1117 on Route 761P, derailed and crashed while navigating a tight curve at 40.9 km per hour, in excess of the posted speed limit of 15 km per hour. The train was turning from Kiu Hung Road to Castle Peak Road south of Tin Shui Wai. At least 77 people were injured in the crash. The LRV captain was convicted of negligence under the Mass Transit Railway Ordinance. On 19 August 2013, a 63-year-old man was killed at Lockwood Stop while crossing the tracks at a crossing point, the train did not stop in time. On 21 November 2014, LRV 1093 on Route 507 collided with an MTR double-decker bus near Tuen Mun Ferry Terminus. The bus crashed because it ran a red light. The train derailed and 20 were injured equals equals gallery